Such good fortune you found us. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man! You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again... I saw... a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright! I bolted to town, fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep it out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the god's favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. 
It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods. The Toussaintois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? Ha! <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venom. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the Palace Gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing! A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Like that, you must have your pick of the ladies. Your boots could use some polish, Baker. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your Nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not eavesdrop on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Show me what you got in stock. Likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. 